Hi, I am Prabhu. Uh, we are a team of five. She is Gayatri, she is Shilpa Soni, she is uh, Shailaja and he is Hashish. Uh, we, uh, we are working on a project called Soil Nutrient Analysis using wireless sensor networks under the guidance of uh, Dr. K. R. Sudhindra and Dr. Veena MB. Agriculture is a backbone of our country. With 1.25 billion population, 60% of our economy runs on agriculture. Agriculture is mainly dependent on monsoon, fertility of the soil, type of ground crop to be grown and type of fertility, uh, fertilizers that is to be used. India has around 600 so soil testing centers. These soil testing centers are mostly located near the district headquarters. The farmer who wants to test his soil has to come to the district headquarters, uh, to the soil testing center to test his soil. This becomes a very difficult process for the farmer to take his soil uh, to the soil testing center to test. Second problem is the whole process is a costly one. The third problem is it is a time-consuming process. The soil parameters keep varying with respect to time. So these values have to be tested and the results have to be given to the farmer in order to, inc in order to get a highly productive yield. The main objective of our project is to develop end-to-end -end soil nutrient analysis system uh, and also to uh, provide a novel instrumentation to measure the uh, NPK values of the soil, that is the macronutrient of the soil, and also to create a standard database uh, for various crops uh, about the requirement of the NPK uh, for, for growing particular crops and also to develop a user-friendly uh, application uh, uh, to access the information uh, relevant to the uh, uh, soil tested and uh, the crops to be grown and the fertil amount of fertilizer to be added uh, for the particular crops. Sensor is placed into the soil which is to be tested. The chemical reaction which happens on the leads of the sensor induces a voltage in microvolts to millivolts level which is given to the analog to digital converter of the PIC microcontroller. Then through UART communication, those NPK raw values is received at Z1 mode, which is calibrated and broadcasted using Zigbee protocol. The transmitted NPK values through Zigbee protocol is received by another Z1 mode in the N gateway. Those values of NPK are uploaded to the IBM Lumix cloud for analysis using Raspberry Pi in it through Wi-Fi protocol. We are using IBM Bluemix Cloud Platform service. This Bluemix Cloud, it's a platform, a cloud platform developed by IBM. A real-time data from the NPK sensor is measured and it is uploaded to the Bluemix Cloud through N-Gate. IBM Bluemix is a cloud platform developed by IBM. It provides, uh, it supports several uh, programming languages and services to build, run, deploy, and manage applications on the cloud. On the cloud. So this Bluemix is based on Cloud Foundry open technology, and it runs on software uh, layer infrastructure. IBM uh, services, uh, like IBM uh, Bluemix provides uh, more number of services. Almost 131 services are available in IBM Bluemix. This is a catalog of an IBM Bluemix, where we can see the infrastructure, apps, and services these are the things, those are provided by the IBM Bluemix. Uh, mainly in our applications, we made use of three services. One is the Node-RED uh, service, cloud and database service, and IoT platform service. Mainly this IoT platform service, it's used for binding the sensor data to the cloud. And Node-RED service is used to map the devices to the IoT platform. And also it gives a graphical uh, view. Uh, it's a graphic, graphical view flow editor. And cloud and database is used to store the data, like the NPK values uh, that is measured from the sensor. So this is the node flow editor. As I said, it is a graphical flow editor. It provided various inputs and output li outputs. Uh, so according to our requirements, we need to select uh, the device or input from the input list and also at the output. And also various functions are also provided by this uh, Node-RED service. We can choose uh, the required uh, service as per our requirements in our project. So this is the flow editor window, a Node-RED flow editor window. Two tabs are available. One is the information, another one is the debug. Information, it provides about the particular node, what are the features that we are using. Then the debug terminal, it is used to display the outputs. One more uh, service uh, we are using is the cloud and database service. So this, in this uh, cloud and database, we have created like various databases. 
uh, one uh, database that is the ideal underscore npk1 this is the main uh, like uh, this is the ideal uh, standard database we collected data from various uh, soil test centers and we have uh, maintained a standard data of various crops npk values of different crops and this soil underscore raw, this database uh, it's a database where the real time value that is measured from the sensor is stored and one more database we have created that is pert underscore recommended in this database amount of fertilizers to be added to the particular crop that the farmer wishes to grow soil underscore raw the soil underscore raw database it consists of the values that is measured in real time by the sensor that is uh, like uh, 265 34 and 94 94 we are seeing this is the n first uh, uh, value it indicates the n nitrogen second uh, after the hyphen it indicates uh, the phosphorus value and the last one indicates the potash value so crop uh, list underscore db this is one of the database we have created so this database it consists of 66 uh, crops uh, we collected all the uh, like information npk values from various uh, departments and we have uh, uh, created this uh, crop list underscore db where all the ideal values of npk for different crops are stored and this is the fertilizer recommended database here we can see uh, for a particular uh, soil that we measured what is the amount of fertilizer need to be added to that soil in order to get a better yield and user friendly app has been developed using the build up app platform uh, here is the app uh, here we are given two features that is uh, to view the npk values of the uh, soil being tested and also the uh, amount of fertilizer to be added for uh, growing the particular crop. Uh, you can uh, see the NPK value of the soil, that is uh, 265 and uh, a particular P and K. The amount of fertilizer to be added for growing the crops, uh, here you can see uh, six crops. Uh, by selecting the particular uh, crop, we will get to know the amount of fertilizer to be added. For example, if you uh, click on the tomato, you can see amount of N and amount of P and amount of uh, K to be added uh, to grow uh, tomato in the particular soil. The objective of our project is to develop novel instrumentation for measuring the nutrient values of the soil. We are using uh, NPK soil test kit from La Lamote and uh, here what we are doing is we, are, we have to prepare a basic solution first. Uh, we are using uh, distilled water plus one tablespoon of uh, soil that is to be tested and also two flakex tablets that is provided with the soil. 30 ml of the distilled water is used for preparing basic solution. And one tablespoon of soil, flakex tablet that is provided by the Lamoto soil test kit. We should seed it well. It is provided with uh, three different tablets that is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium tablets for measuring different uh, values of soil solution. And we are, use, we are here using nitrate tablet to measure the nitrogen value of the soil. Uh, we are using basic solution that we have prepared already. And we are using the tablet that is provided. We have to stir it well so that the, so that the color change will happen to this uh, solution. Here you can see the color chart which is provided by Lamute Soil Test Kit where we, uh, we are using this color chart to uh, compare the uh, whatever the color changes that has happened to the soil solution that is compared with the nitrogen low, medium or high value uh, of the chart. In this case you can see that uh, the color change is uh, uh, compared with the color chart and uh, this is matching with the low value of the nit nitrogen. In a similar way uh, phosphorus and nitrogen values can also be measured. from this manual method we can con uh, conclude that uh, the nitrogen value that is measured is less. Till now we have seen the manual method of measuring NPK. To automate this we are using the TCS3200 color sensor. As my friend has explained this solution is compared with the color chart and for but to automize we are uh, mapping RGB values of this color. They are measured through the color sensor. Uh, this uh, color sensor receives the RGB values and this, those values are mapped to the NPK values through the programming of Arduino.